It's summer on Cape Breton Island. A time for the sun and the sea. Summertime and you. From around the world and in many different ways, people are visiting. Some are returning. Others are arriving for the first time. But no matter how familiar, they'll be greeted with a warm and friendly welcome. Cape Bretoners enjoy their hospitality and are proud of it. Almost as proud as they are of the island itself. For here among Canada's Atlantic provinces is a treasure beyond compare. Intense in its beauty and powerfully dramatic. Lewisburg. In the 1740s, it was France's center of trade and military strength in the New World. With a booming cod fishery, this naval base and garrison town played a major role in the English-French power struggles in North America. It guarded the approaches to the continent and was the scene of significant battles. 1745, taken by an American expeditionary force, captured and destroyed by the British in 1760. It stands again today one of the largest historical reconstructions in North America, a proud and authentic restoration of the life and power of 18th century France. Along the northern coast, the Cabot Trail winds its magic. Alexander Graham Bell once said of the island, I have traveled around the globe. I've seen the Canadian and American Rockies, the Andes and the Alps, and the highlands of Scotland. But for simple beauty, Cape Breton outrivals them all. Taking drive will take you through the Cape Breton Highlands National Park to resort areas such as Inganish, where you can explore the joys of summer. For lovers of nature, the park maintains an extensive network of trails. It's a photographer's paradise. Covering 370 square miles, the park offers some of the most stunning coastal scenery in North America. Chetikamp, a French-speaking Acadian community, maintains a proud heritage. Here, or in Alma Dam and along the Fleur de Lis Trail, a unique way of life still prospers.
One way to enjoy Cape Breton's hospitality firsthand is to stay at one of the many bed and breakfast homes. And whether there or in hotels, motels, resorts, or campgrounds, you're never far from water. The island boasts many beaches, and its rivers offer excellent fishing for salmon and trout. The Marguerite and Myra rivers, as well as many of the island's lakes, are excellent places for canoeing. Iona, Inverness, Piper's Glen, the Cayley Trail. The language and culture of the descendants of the Highland Scots have made Cape Breton unique. Their spirit and determination are celebrated in many outdoor concerts and picnics, clan gatherings, Cayleys, and dances. The deck on the Bredore Lakes was the much-loved home of Alexander Graham Bell. The museum which bears his name is only one of 32 across the island, an indication of the depth of Cape Bretoner's heritage. Although known for inventing the telephone, Bell was a modern-day Leonardo. Hundreds of other inventions and experiments in flight and with hydrofoils demonstrate his genius. <laughs> Sydney, with its surrounding towns, and Port Hawkesbury are the major centers on the island. Hotels, motels, nightclubs, and shopping malls service the visitors' needs. Boutiques around the island carry some of the island's unique crafts. Music and theatre productions throughout the island are highly entertaining and the talent and variety is very impressive. Well-serviced restaurants abound on Cape Breton with particular emphasis on seafood course a Dundee resort or anywhere near the water the celebration will be complete The Bredore Lakes 
contain 450 square miles of salt water and summer fun. No matter where you stay, or for what length of time, Cape Breton will be a special place for you. One hundred thousand welcomes is the traditional island greeting. It's yours to discover. It's yours to enjoy. <laughs> 